So this is a sped up video of myself making my ACL recommendation of a protocol. And while that's playing, you'll get a nice voiceover of my pitch for a minimal viable product regarding ACL rehabilitation. Please stay tuned for my next video where I'll be going through this program in full detail. If you know someone who has had an ACL tear or if you yourself have an ACL tear, this is professional information you'd want to know. Now the reason why I wanna put up this video is to show that this is original professional material made by me. So take this as my copyright infringement material before one of you decides to shamelessly cast the Sharon gun on my work. It's also to indicate to my friends that I'm not always a weeb in my spare time and I actually strive for productivity. So as you know, contrary to my professional background, my aspiration in life was to be the ultimate ACL magnet. Literally the Jesus Christ of ACL tears so no one else would go through the pain that I went through unbeknownst to the world, who would have thought that since I only have two knees, the maximum ACL tears I could have is two. So I thought to myself, if I can't be the ace, the Irwin, the Kakuin, the Vegeta, and the Neji of ACL tears, literally the greatest sacrifices in anime history, I wanted to at least make my own ACL protocol to give you guided advice to getting back onto your feet. Now, I know what you're asking, how can you be a weeb and give good advice? The answer is, you can't, which is why this video is full of my weeb side and the next video will be a more serious one related to a full rundown of my guidelines. This will most likely take one hour, so you're better off watching the US presidential debate or watching paint dry. My guidelines will take inspiration from pre-existing concepts and post-op protocols, optimizing a way for myself and for others to understand what exercises they should be doing when undergoing rehab. Now I know my voice is monotonous as heck, so if you get sick of my voice, this document will also be placed on Google Sheets for public viewing since it is part of my MVP. Or if you're feeling a bit edgy and dangerous, I'm also open to placing this document on LimeWire should you want the exhilaration experience of catching computer aids. So now we get to the question, why? Why am I doing this? It's probably going to have as little answers as why am I a weeb? Or why is my ass so fat? Or why are we here on earth? I apologize because I digress. A few videos ago, I talked about wanting to open a channel that will help educate primarily physios, but secondary pertaining to osteos, chiros, personal trainers, and patients. In that channel, there'll be a multitude of 30 second shorts, each pertaining to one exercise with a voiceover. So in theory, physios may set up exercise playlists for their patients should they need to check their form or be reminded of their exercises. In the same way, patients may also use it to set up their own playlist for treatment or prophylactic management. It's kind of like a rocket science idea, you know, on the same tier as Starlink or Tesla and, and all that. Um, but now I'm just trying to set up a minimal viable product regarding ACL reconstruction. And I kid you not, I have high hopes for this because it's an accessory, an adjunct to our professional sphere. It's going to remind an optimized form with less clinical follow-up, leading to better clinical outcomes. So think of it like this, this is the perfect analogy. This product will literally be like putting on sunglasses on a sunny day. It's an accessory, it gives you sun protection, it allows you to side-eye some waifus without everyone else around you knowing. It might even activate the Sharingan for you. But Josh, some people might retort, even though this is the best 21st century breakthrough I've ever heard, some people get by without sunglasses, and to that I say, you're a psychopath, I rest my case. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you really don't have to use it, it's an accessory, it's there to help, it's, it's there for your luxury, um, but I mean, if you don't use it, then you're kind of a loser. Let, let me just put out that I don't wear sunglasses either. So as you can see, I'm just building up an Excel spreadsheet full of the exercises that I would like to film, hopefully, before I go into surgery. Um, you might have also seen a little another Excel spreadsheet that has um, pre-written exercises that I'm building for the real project, for the bigger project. Um, that'll also be coming through soon. Now to the few people who made it down to this portion of the video, mum and dad, I'll thank you myself personally downstairs. <laughs> I'm just kidding, kinda, not really. Anyway, I thought I'd take this time to continue pitching my idea by answering some questions I've got. And when I say questions I've got, this, like, yeah, they're just questions I wrote, not, not being asked by another person. Um, exposed. Question number one, why will this product be useful? 
And when you ask that question, you're probably affirming that it's going to be as useful as wearing a pair of sunglasses to look at waifus in your downtime. Like I said before, for professionals, it's an adjunct to maintaining good form at home and promoting safe, self-regulated progression. It will allow the practitioner to easily set up playlists for the clients to refer at home and in due time, it'll be a great way to enforce online patient follow-up. It's also a great way to educate and inform clinicians, especially new grads, by expanding their knowledge and their kind of database of prescriptable exercises. Now, why is it also good for the patient? Because any layman can hop onto this platform and be educated and informed. They can either take inspiration directly from the videos or raise it with their professional. And all this is to promote a lifestyle that reduces musculoskeletal or MSK injuries and associated mechanical risk factors. Question number two, what am I trying to achieve with this product? Um, again, like I said before, this product is meant to be an adjunct. It's to ensure that patients understand why and what they're meant to be doing at home to get better. And it's for professionals to be equipped with resources to guide a greater progression back to sport or back to whatever endeavors that they need to go to. Question number three, does this product substitute for physio and other health services? Damn, we actually got super serious all of a sudden. What's wrong with you, Josh? Yeah, and um, I say this product doesn't substitute for a physios at all, and I would strongly advocate the provision of this platform through a physio. The reason why I say that is because this is just an educational tool, and it's not the only means to an end. It's like, yeah, if I needed to get from place A to place B and I had a plane, I'd still need a professional pilot with expert opinion to fly that plane to help me get to the other side. And yeah, I, I could fly that plane by myself. Um, professional Q-op player right here, just, just trying to flex on you guys. I don't say no to any challenge. Professional Yu-Gi-Oh player as well. Um, you could fly that plane and make it to the other side. You might make it halfway, it doesn't matter. You're always gonna do better with a professional pilot. So in the same way, that field of professionalism, whether you're a chiro, osteophysio, or personal trainer, is irreplaceable. Question number four. Am I worried about getting this idea stolen or made before me? Absolutely not. In fact, I'd actually love to have you talk about it more. If more people had this idea, not only does it solidify that it's a universal and worthwhile idea, hashtag biggest breakthrough of the 21st century, but it also tells me that there's a need for it. As a working physio, it would help me so much. It would help so many people so much because they always seem to find a way to stuff up their exercises. And by no means am I saying that this product will guarantee that the patient can imitate the video like frame by frame, like picture perfect, but at least it's a working step towards becoming more accurate. I've um, actually thought about this long and hard. If this is a bad idea and somehow I get made into a meme, that's not so bad either. I'll just embrace the meme life because the world needs more memes anyway. Yeah, but if this entrepreneur kind of um, idea thing startup doesn't work out i'm ready to join logan paul and his investment in pokemon cards or i might start a business in um in anime body pillows just man just just look at these google trends they're they're probably more stable than like the fang stocks even the world waifu is doing better than bitcoin but yeah real talk no lie um if you're if you're looking into investing in pokemon cards or wanting to open shop for anime body pillows um holler at me i'm trying to look for a business partner um yeah that's good. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually kidding, guys. All right. Or am I? All right. <laughs> See you guys next video. If you're still here. Uh, I'm sorry if, if I lost some views. That That's okay. I straight, stay true to my roots. That's what Naruto told me.